Good morning, Clara. This is your good morning story. Today's story is The Black Prince and the White Squirrel. Now, once long ago, in a kingdom far from here, there lived a black prince. He was called the Black Prince because the family crest and armor of his royal bloodline was very dark and black and gray. This family was an old family and went back for many generations. His father, the king, had been king ever since he was a boy. The family and the kingdom that they ruled had fallen upon hard times. And that's another reason that he was called the Black Prince. The weather was often grim and gray. The, the farmers and the harvests that they brought in were often small and meager. Year after year, people had less and less to eat. The people of this kingdom which had once been rich and prosperous, had grown poor and scrawny. The Black Prince was a kind boy. He went out every day into the forest, and he saw animals that he loved. He liked to talk to the animals because he had very few friends. In fact, even though he had come of age and was supposed to be finding a princess to marry, he could not do so. No princes, no princesses in the neighboring kingdoms wanted to marry the black prince because they all thought he was bad luck. His father, the king, had resigned himself to the fact that this would probably be the end of his line. And he thought it might be a good thing because somewhere at some point, he reasoned, someone in his line had done something bad. That's why all of these awful things had happened to the kingdom. That's why things were so bleak and gray and dark. One day, while on a ride out into the forest, the prince saw an animal he had never seen before, a white squirrel. Now, as you know, most squirrels are gray, some are black, a few are red, but the prince had never seen a white squirrel before. He approached it and it ran away and he thought nothing more of it. But then day after day, as he went out into the, into the forest to meet new animals and to try and help them find some food in these tough times right before winter, he saw the white squirrel day after day, every day, and every day the white squirrel let him get a little bit closer. Well, one day, he got close enough to the white squirrel to see that it had the most incredible eyes. He had never seen eyes like this in an animal. Because you see, while most squirrels have dark black eyes, this squirrel had blue eyes. It seemed very strange to him. He went and picked up an acorn and held it in his hand. And while most squirrels would scurry away, even if being offered a meal, this squirrel came up to his hand, looked at the acorn, looked at him, and took it. The squirrel put the acorn up to its mouth, took a bite, and instantly transformed into a beautiful princess with a long flowing silver gown and long wavy silver hair. The black prince had never seen a woman who looked like this. Most of the women in his kingdom were, were downtrodden and didn't have any money to buy nice clothes like this. And their hair was all matted because it was hard for them to even find time to take a bath. It, she was the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. This beautiful white princess 
grabbed the black prince's hand and said, thank you. The black prince said, for what? For freeing me, she said. I have been trapped in a squirrel's body for such a long time because of a crime committed long ago against my family. I was put into that form as a punishment until one of the members of your family did a kind thing for me, not because they had to, but because they had a good heart. You have proven that your family once again has a good heart and all of the benefits of that will now be shared with your kingdom. The white princess got up onto his horse and said, come with me, let's return to your town to see what has happened. As they rode into town, he immediately saw that for one thing, the clouds that always seem to be covering the entire kingdom were beginning to part and rays of sun were beaming through. As he looked from farm to farm, he could almost see grass and crops growing faster than plants should be able to grow. He saw farmers running out into their fields, bewildered that corn was growing, whereas only a few days before, there was nothing. It was remarkable. As they approached the kingdom, as they approached the castle, the, king, the prince saw the most remarkable thing. Because outside the castle, there was a tree that once long ago was very important to the king and his family. And that tree had seemed to be dead for a long time. But the the king refused to let it be cut down because it was such a special tree. Well, lo and behold, that tree had sprung to life and begun to flower. It was covered with the most beautiful white blossoms. As the prince and the princess got off the horse in the, in, in the courtyard, the king came down the stairs from his throne room and came out and saw her and immediately burst into tears, ran up to her, and gave her a hug. You found her, he said to his son. I can't believe you found her. This is the greatest day of my life, and surely the greatest day in the history of our kingdom. But what happened, father, said the black prince. Who have I found? This girl was wronged long ago, he said. She was a good princess from a good family. And my brother, who was a wicked man, refused to marry her as he was supposed to. He exiled her from a kingdom because he was angry with her. And our family has been cursed ever since. But you, son, have found her and have righted this wrong. You too will be married later today and all of the kingdom will come and watch. And surely, later that day, the king presided over the wedding ceremony. And the, the princess, who was supposed to have been his sister-in-law, became his daughter-in-law instead. And there were good times and happy times for the, the kingdom as they lived happily ever after. The end.